how to discuss a chart fail chart <laughs> failed horoscope secrets how to make the best use of a bad bargain because you may like it or not most of the planets are failed most of the most of the horoscopes actually they are failed now what does it mean to have a failed horoscope failed horoscope means when your prominent planets are very badly placed or majority of your planets are in difficult positions okay and as much as i would love to say otherwise but it's a fact of life that if you are into astrology there are serious problems in your chart otherwise i have seen people who come into astrology yeah three months six months one year and after that they leave because life's good again <laughs> right but it's not the case for everyone so if you feel that your prominent planets like sun moon lagna lord or four five six planets are very badly placed then you then you need to do these 10 uh, remedies these 10 steps they are practical spiritual uh, and psychological mental everything is included in these 10 and this is how you can reduce the negative effects of course this will not change your karma but this will make you prepared from your side to to accept whatever is destined to come all right so therefore if you feel that most of your planets are screwed up then or rather in technical language you know as you might have seen the uh, tag you know if you, majority of your planets are afflicted debilitated weak combust in 6th 8th or 12th or in enemy signs you know yeah then you better do these remedies to protect yourself right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him for sure and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down below in the description section and don't forget to subscribe and my new delhi trip will be from 25th of november to 2nd of december if you want to consult me one on one then please send an email at exoticastrology@gmail.com and guwahati dates are 10 december to 10th of january all right now number one thing that you need to do this is non negotiable you do everything and you don't do this ah uh, it's over okay <laughs> what is the number one thing the number one thing is you have to lower your expectations so for example if your venus or your seventh lord is in a dusthana or very badly placed you know afflicted debilitated we combust enemy sign 6th 8th 12th for example i am saying okay or your dara karaka also is badly placed or maybe your second lord is badly placed okay or maybe two of these so second lord and venus second lord or seventh lord and venus okay either way if you have such placements then you need to understand that maybe most of your desires will not be fulfilled your your emotional desires your romantic desires your sexual desires <laughs> okay or we will really if you have such place when so okay so you have to make peace with it acceptance is the key if you don't accept if you don't accept and you expect only it's a recipe for disaster my dear friend okay so therefore please be aware that they are in bad houses or badly placed because of certain karmic backlogs that we have in our previous lifetimes and nobody else is responsible nobody except ourselves so therefore if you have planets that are badly placed be prepared to make to have trade offs in life okay the deal will be sad it will not be on your side so so be prepared and once you are prepared after that if everything is fine great god's blessings but if not <laughs> then be prepared and don't lose your mind okay number 2 if a planet is badly placed then try to do fasting on that day so for example venus you know try to do fasting on fridays 
So especially when your plat is very badly placed, then you should try to fast whole day, like 24 hours. That's it. No eating, no drinking. But I know it's not easy. So if you can't do that, then try to only drink water on Friday. So Thursday night to Saturday morning, only either no food or only water. Okay, no food, no water, then but uh, little less than that is with water. Okay. Now, if you can't do with that also alone, then you need to take ekadashi food on that day. Ekadashi food is like uh, food without grains and meat, fish, eggs, and onion, garlic. No alcohol. No, uh, yeah, no, you know, like intoxication and all this. Okay. No tea, coffee. Also, please be restrictive of your diet on that day, and try to eat once. Okay. Now, if that also you cannot do, try to eat two times. And if you cannot do that also, then do it three times. But at least avoid onion, garlic, alcohol and intoxication, cigarette smoking, watching pornography, masturbating or sexual intercourse even if you are married. Okay, So, <clears throat> avoid doing things which drag you down because the more you perpetuate these things, the more you will suffer in life. Okay. And if you cannot do that also, take onion, garlic, take grains, you know, have a normal uh, meal, but don't, don't take meat and the other things you know, like wine, uh, smoking, sexual intercourse and all this. If that also you can't do, then there is no chance. <laughs> there's, there's no other lowering of this standard. I mean, that is like bare minimum, like, Full vegetarian on that day. That is like, that is something I'm sure everybody can do, right? Now, and hypothetically, if you cannot do that, then if you have to eat meat like, you know, seven days a week, then anyways, don't take mine at least. <laughs> do some austerity that day, okay? So you know the planets, right? Saturday, Saturn, and uh, Jupiter, uh, Thursday, of course. Number three, do some worship of the Vishnu Avatara related to that planet. So, for example, if your Jupiter is uh, spoiled in the chart, then do some worship of Vaman Dev. Okay, you can uh, chant the mantra also Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. This is something we will discuss. But when I say worship, I mean mantras also. But apart from that, you know, like you can read. Uh, from Srimad Bhagavatam about that particular avatar that you can do. You can do some puja, you know, if you find some Vaman temple, you know, or you can, you know, do some yagya, all these things you can do, okay? They will be very beneficial. So any kind of worship, if you can do related to that avatar, that's fantastic. Number four, this is gold, which is chanting mantras, as I already said, but specifically the mantras related to that Vishnu avatar. Okay, so for example, if uh, your moon is having problems, you can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Mm -hmm. If Saturn, Mercury are involved, you can chant Om Namo Narayanaya. And if your Jupiter, Sun, Moon, they are having problems, you can chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Okay, so therefore, uh, you need to understand that if you chant these mantras, you will be able to connect to the Vishnu Avatar at a spiritual level and they can deliver you, okay? They means they are all one only, but <laughs> Vishnu can deliver you, okay? Nobody else. So therefore, chant the mantras 108 times every day, okay? Or specifically on that day. So for example, you know, if your Saturn is afflicted, Saturn is value placed, then on Saturdays, you should chant like, you know, at least for one hour. Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra you should chant. Okay, very, very, very important. And in the other days, you can chant one mala, like 108 times. But on Saturday, you should chant maybe 8 or 10, 12 or maybe 16 malas. Okay, very important. Number five, try to maintain distance with those people that the planet indicates. So, for example, Venus indicates women. Or suppose uh, Venus is your 10th uh, Lord, they can mean your boss or colleague or somebody. Okay, for example. So try to maintain distance. Uh, distance does not mean you be cold-hearted and you know don't interact. But 
the more you interact with these people, the more you can be frustrated and the more you may be punished in life, okay? So be careful before you like go all in with them. Okay, like, you know, you have some colleagues and you invite them to your home and you're know, like uh, very nice friends and everything is great, ooh la la, and you are, you know, you are drinking alcohol, beer, if you are in Germany, <laughs> and then you you speak something and you, 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 you tell something, oh, you know, your boss said like this and then he or she goes and tells to the boss and then you are fired next day. Okay, so be very careful. Become friends, but... Take one step at a time. Don't just go all in, okay? That may be dangerous for you. Next one. Number six, try to create boundaries because these people may end up bullying you. So, for example, if your uh, son is badly placed, your father may bully you or father may come and you know, like, hey, what is this? You don't know anything, you know? Do as I say. It's like, you know, forcing you, bullying you, basically. Example, it could be anybody. Your mother, fourth lord, you know, mother, ninth lord, father again. Anybody, 7th Lord, spouse, 3rd Lord, siblings, 11th Lord, uh, your friends. So, if you feel that you are getting bullied by anybody that this planet represents, then you will have to understand that you have to tell them that Mr. Sir, Mr. Madam, or Miss Madam, this is not going to work and I will do this, okay? So, you have to create distance and boundaries. Otherwise, it will, they will wreak havoc in your life. So, don't go to that level where uh, you have no other option left okay because i'll tell you the reason why i am telling this you may think oh why to create boundaries or just discard them all together no you can't do that because when some planets have difficult karma you cannot just whitewash these people out of your life okay so you have to maintain a connection to such an extent that you you, you are maintaining your own mental you know sanctity also you are not becoming insane because of their abuses and out of formality and as a matter of culture you are keeping the relation also with them okay so therefore uh, you have to take the the midway you know you cannot just say you cannot stay with them every time they will they'll finish you and if you don't stay with them, then some other problems might come, you know, like other people may accuse you in the society of, you know, throwing them out of your life, okay, especially if they are your parents or your children or spouse, okay. So, you have to create boundaries and uh, have safe distance, okay, very, very important. Number seven, always understand that with these planets and these people, you have to give more. Don't expect much. This is again point number one, sim similar, but you have to give more then you expect, okay? So, if you're seventh lord or you're Venus or if you are a lady, then Jupiter is your husband. If Jupiter is badly placed or seventh lord for both the genders, then uh, don't expect much from your marriage, okay? Don't expect much from your spouse, your husband or your wife. They may not be able to fulfill your desires and that's okay. But on the contrary, not only may they may not fulfill your desires, they may suck a lot of energy for you. That could also be the case, okay? So, therefore, be prepared to, uh, yeah, be prepared to give it all, okay? <laughs> it's like Redano Banda. You have to pay. It's payback time. Bad planets are indicating payback times, okay? There, there's no other. It's very simple. It's like you have to pay back, okay? So, when you pay back, what happens? You lose all the money. You lose all your beauty, you lose all your youth, you lose all your intelligence. So, they may sometimes, occasionally give you things but not always. And they may receive a lot from you by choice or by force, okay? Number eight, donate on those days. Sun Surya is badly placed. Donate on Sundays. What should you donate? You should donate related to that planet. Like, yeah, whatever that planet represents, you know, you go and donate to that, uh, to, to the people also, you know, which could be represented by those plants or institutions, you know, like uh, Surya and Chandra represent the government, sun and moon, right? So, some donation you could give to some government body or, you know, Jupiter or your ninth lord, fifth lord, then it can show, you know, temples or, you know, spiritual places. There you can go and donate, okay? Very important. By donating your bad karma, way, as well, you keep going out, okay? 
Number nine, you should visit holy dhams related to those avatars. So, for example, if Surya is badly placed, try to visit Ayodhya. Stay there for five days. Ayodhya is the place where Lord Sri Ram appeared in this world. So, therefore, uh, when I say go to Ayodhya, does not mean you just go there and you know do whatever you want. You know, to go there, you know, do austerities, walk barefoot, you know, not eat meat, fish, omen, garlics, eggs, and all this, you know, alcohol, avoid sexual intercourse. So when you do all this, there you go and hear Ram Katha and you engage yourself in the loving pastimes of Lord Ram. Okay, and for Sun, uh, it's Ram. Then for Moon, you know, it's uh, Krishna, right? So then try to go to Mathura, Vrindavan, and you know, all other places where the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya is prominent. Okay, so that's how you can actually uh, improve your consciousness and your energy. And last but not the least, you can recite stotrams related to that avatars. You know, so for example, if Mars is badly placed, you know, you can recite Narsima mantras, Narsima kavach, Narsima stotra, you know, the Ugram Viram Mahavishtum Jalantam Sarvatomukham, right? So that that uh, that mantra, that shloka, the, all all these things you can recite. Okay? So if you do all this, apart from that, you can do yagya, you know, mantras, as I said. So. Involve yourself more with the avatars that these planets represent. Lower your expectations. Do fasting. Do austerities. Give donations. Don't expect much. And be ready to give more to these people that the planets represent. Alright? If you do this, then you will make the best use of a bad bargain. Alright? Thank you so much. Please take care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and personalize consultations via my website below. Jai Siyaram.